Uh, hello there, I don't normally do this. Well, I mean, I think I may have done this once or twice before, but I'm gonna do an unboxing today because I ordered something recently and I shall explain it. And uh, as you can see, we have a bunch of Dead Mouse merchandise here, primarily the CDs, as well as one of these uh, figurines. I think they made them like 12 years ago. I just got this one off eBay, uh, just randomly. And uh, I, I like the fact that it's an eight ball. There's like, you know, a dozen other designs. But uh, the reason why I have all this stuff here is because this is another Dead Mouse collectible. It's actually uh, one of the mystery plush keychains from the retrospective collection uh, that's uh, happening from, you know, uh, Mousetrap and Dead Mouse's main websites right now. As again, for those that don't know, uh, it's more like a 25th anniversary. Uh, for like, you know, Dead Mouse's material. So they were doing a bunch of stuff on merchandising and just, uh, you know, t-shirts, you know, record represses and colored vinyls. Those are cool. I might want to get one of those in the future. But as of right now, because I am poor, uh, <laughs> I could only afford one thing. So I figured I might as well get the collectible keychain because, you know, I have a lot of CDs. I just don't have enough of these weird little, you know, doohickeys or whatever. So let me unbox it. And uh, I'm doing this with one hand. It's going to be a bit hard. I may have to like show off the camera, or not off the camera, but just like, wait, there we go. All right, that's one end. So it should just be a, a box, bubble wrap. Uh, nah, it's, well, I got these, you know, this cardboardish wrap, you know, there we go. And this is, this is it. This is just a random, actually, is there anything else in here? It's probably just the order receipt, right? Yeah, okay, personal information. I'll just move that to the side. So yeah, this is it. I will say the box is pretty cool. It is, again, sort of, uh, it's it's kind of, I almost want to say that the box is a certain quality of this material. It's almost like it was, I don't, I don't know, it's not super high quality or anything, but it's better than most. And I'm guessing you just have to rip this off. So as you can see, I'll just show off on the, the sides of the box before I actually open it. <laughs> So we have the, uh, okay, this is part of the first season of Waves of Things. I, th I think they did announce that they are going to do a few more. And as you can see, it shows a few of the weird split designs of uh, the mouse heads. And you can see the various types that there are. And it shows that they sort of have a rarity percentage. I guess the uh, Meowingtons one is more rare than the others. Although, uh, yeah, I think I heard that the, his cat died like a year ago. So, uh, unfortunate. But even then, there's still quite a lot of other weird designs. Uh, again, there's a classic one. There's the mixed one, which I think I saw him use at a show once or twice. Uh, there's the cheese mouse head. And I remember that from the Meowingtons tour DVD. The disco one, which I haven't seen much of. I've seen this pixel one on occasion. I think he took a picture of, of uh, or there's a picture of Joel with uh, Shigeru Miyamoto and he's wearing this one, I think. Uh, and then, yeah, we have the Meowing Things one. This is made by Jelly Bean. And again, it includes a VIP access pass for something. I don't know if that's blockchain related, not that I you know, support that stuff, but I know that he sort of did non-fungible things. Okay, I don't want to get into too much of that tangent. Backside, or rather front side, I don't know. And it's just the same advert. Oh, that's cool. The fact that it's bent like that, that's actually well designed. Okay, I'm gonna open it and see which one I got, because I don't know what it is. And uh, let's see, I feel the plastic packaging. Oh, it's, oh, it's actually, they hit it even more. It's not like you can see through it. Okay, that's cute. And what's in here? I guess, okay, I guess the digital access pass is in the result of that. I'll just put the box there. This is gonna be hard to open. I am gonna, let's see, can I even open it? Yeah, let me just open it with my hands and show it off. I'll just do like a quick open bag of chips thing. Okay, so we open it like that. And which one is it? I have to take it out with one hand. I think it's a red one, I can tell. Oh, wait, yeah, it's a red one. I think, yeah, okay. That's pretty cool. We got the classic one. Again, the one known from his uh, breakthrough album. This isn't his first album. I think it's his third, but it's the one that got the most attention from the singles. We have a cool tag as well. Uh, is this the digital access pass thing? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm gonna blur out the QR code because I don't want anyone else to have it. I want to see what this is myself. Scan to unlock a VIP access pack. So I'm actually gonna do that and I'll like, uh, take screenshots of that afterward. Otherwise, the, the doll itself is pretty cool. We have a tag on the back. Uh, this is just the materials, and then that's just the, you know, label tag, dead mouse and everything. And again, uh, pretty good. I'd say, let me, let me feel the mouth. The mouth is like a certain mesh feel. It almost feels like it would be on a certain type of sock. Eyes overall feel okay. The ears, yeah, I don't want to say they're hollow, but they're something. And again, this is a 
pretty cute keychain. I really don't want to expose that QR code. <laughs> Again, I'll show that off, uh, whatever that is. I'll scan it on my phone and stuff. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I'll just put him over there and I guess I'll have this little one in comparison because again this is the uh, figurines that uh, were released of uh, again uh, over a decade ago again I was kind of too young to collect these you know because they didn't have any money but I will say that these uh, little flesh keychains uh, they're okay personally I wouldn't put this on my keys I would probably just have it lay around again with the merchandise that I have again it's more of a collectible item as you can see because there was a bunch of it was on this side they had just a few other models and makes. And again, this is the first season, quote unquote. So there's probably gonna be a bunch more. Uh, maybe we will see some of the other heads in style. Like I know that there's the uh, four times four head, which with which has the uh, green LEDs. I don't know, they're probably not gonna put that on a plush though. And there's uh, like the wild head with all the you know black lines through it and everything. So yeah, I would say this was a, a neat little package. I will say that shipping costs a lot. Shipping costs as much as one of these things, and I'm like, that's just kind of stupid. But I mean, you know, the higher up artists, so of course the merchandise is gonna be a bit pricey. I'm not sure if I would recommend this to everyone. Maybe collectors. If you're a collector and you like stuff like this, if you just wanna have something to go with your Dead Mouse collection, or if you wanna just try spending money on all of them to, you know, get them and resell them for a scalped value, then I guess, you know, go ahead, but uh, for a casual consumer thing, I wouldn't really, like if you're not a fan of Dead Mouse, this isn't really a thing to buy, because again, this costs $30, so it's, you know, it's definitely just a limited piece of merch thing. I do like it though, it's very cute, it feels nice, and again, I got the classic red one, which, you know, I kinda am glad that I got that over the others. I mean, I just like, you know, I just respect the original design and etc. I think I'm gonna stop talking now, because I've been unboxing this for seven minutes. I'm just gonna show the box off. Yeah, that was it this uh, retrospective collective keychain thing uh, from Dead Mouse's new line of merch. I'll link them below if you guys wanna check it out, not that anyone will. I don't even know if, like, uh, I mean, maybe a few people who are fans of this channel like Dead Mouse, but I don't know, I've sort of just grew up listening to his music to a degree. Again, a lot of these old CDs I got when I was a kid, and uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I will stop filming now, and I'm hungry, so I'm going to go eat. Have a good one, bye. <laughs>